Hi everyone! Today in Math and Logic I will show you recurring pattern in squares of all the numbers, allowing to calculate squares much faster. I mentioned it previously when I showed you how to memorize by association squares of numbers 1 through to 25. Now you will see why those 25 are so crucial. Let's visualize them. You see here chart with last two digits of all those 25 squares. We'll leave out hundreds here. And so for square of 7 it's 49, but for example for square of 12 it's not 144, but just 44. I didn't write the values because they are not the most important right now. Important part is just this colorful pattern. Nothing special until we add bars for squares of 26 through to 50. As you see, those are the same values, just in the reverse order. So last two digits of squares of 12 and 38 will be the same. The same goes for example for 6 and 44, and so on. Furthermore, when we extend it up to 100, we see that this whole big pattern repeats itself and it goes to infinity this way. So squares of 12, 38, 62 and 88 will end with the same two digits. There is easy way to take advantage of this fact to quickly find last two digits of squares of any number. Just find how far that number is from the nearest multiple of 50, so nearest number ending with 50 or double O, and square it. Last two digits are the same as in square you are looking for. You will never have to square a bigger number than 25, and that's why memorizing those 25 squares is the key. All squares of the world have last two digits as one of those 25. Let's see an example. 83 squared. Nearest multiply of 50 is 100. 83 is 17 away from it, so 83 squared will end with the same two digits as 17 squared, which is 89. And indeed, 83 squared is 6889. Second example, 261 squared. 261 is 11 away from 250. 11 squared is 121, so 261 squared must end with 21 as well. And it's 68,121. It's not just a curious property. It lets you to estimate squares instead of calculating it and still get the exact results. Let me show you an example of squares of numbers 26 through to 40. We already know how all of them end. Let's start with the obvious ones. 30, 35 and 40. Now let's do just a few associations like in previous episode to fill in more blanks. 2 7 squared is 7 2 sums up to 9. So 7 29. 31 is really nice because it's reverse of 13 and square of 31 is reverse of square of 13. So 961. One of my favorites. 32 is obvious in IT but everyone should know it because 32 squared is the same as 2 to the power of 10. It's 1024. Kilo means in general a thousand, but in IT kilo means 1024. And so for example a kilobyte is 1024 bytes. You simply must know this. 37. Multiplication by 7 is always nasty, but this result is easy to remember. 1 and 369. Multiples of 3. And 38. A lot of force here. 1444. I will not give you trick for the remaining ones, because knowing this is more than enough to estimate the missing values. Let's see. 26 squared will be a bit more than 25 squared, which is 625. You don't need to know exactly how much, but it will be less than 100 more. That's our estimation. But we also know that it ends with 76, so it only can be 676. Next, if 27 squared is 729, then 28 squared must be around 800. If it ends with 84, then it can only be 784. 29 squared must be a bit short of 900 and end with 41, so it must be 841. One more, 33 squared ends with 89, and it is more than 1024, so it is 1089. And it goes for the rest of missing values. Now you only need estimation within margin of 50, to get the precise result, and we'll use it in the future math episodes. Next time it will be super fast method for numbers between 40 and 60. In the meantime, you can subscribe to the channel if you haven't already and leave a like or a comment. You can check also my other mental math or logic puzzle videos. Thanks for watching!